Welcome, welcome to another EBX discussion. And if you are alive and breathing, my brothers and sisters, we are back to fight another day. Because remember, there are those that you know, their body laid to rest, but their spirit lived on this morning or whatever time that that individual transition, brother or sister. That's why I give them honors to our ancestors, those who fought to get us in the state that we are in. May anyone in our families that transition that we held dear, may they rest in peace and in power. And may all of our melanated families prosper in everything we touch. Turn to gold and keep forging forward Never stop, always got to stay steadfast because nothing in this life, nothing in this world can stop what that great divine has for us. And I'm sure a lot of us have experienced this. But there's a lot of tests, a lot of things that will get put in our, will try to get put in our path when we're on this, this righteous journey. A lot of things will try to take us away from what we all put into this fight or what we are or started this journey for to begin with. And this journey comes with many things, you know, not just one thing. It's a whole lot of things that a lot of us can do. That's why it's beautiful that we're all individuals. And that's why when you have that, that family spirit, when you don't have any malice or anything evil, within you you can you can develop and manifest a lot of great things and that great divine will be right there with us that's why i always do things like honor thy brother honor thy sister it just it gives you a warm vibration within same as honor thy mother honor thy father you know i i say that i always keep that honor because i don't think we hear that enough you know it's not enough of that so that's why I always say honor our ancestors as ancestors and honor our family. Now always look at the don'ts or things we've been through with our families. Look at the good things that we have been through. You know, get rid of the, the negative stuff. You know, cling on to the things that that great divine has put in our lives and has put in our present and will put in our future. We just have to stick with it and not get drawn away. And do things on purpose to keep our minds at a, at a good state. Because you never know what will be lying ahead. Because this life is becoming very, very unpredictable. So we should do the same. We should do the same, my soldiers and soldierettes. Salute. Unpredictability can be a beautiful thing. It can be... It can keep you... Being unpredictable keeps you away from the toxic nets that fly in our life. You know, that try to antagonize us, try to stop us from, stop us from doing something great. You know, there's always that negative force to try to step in when something beautiful is right before us. And you just, you just never know that. And it ain't, and you know, I mean, I just don't know uh, no other way to be other than positive it has always gotten me through and i'm sure it's gotten a lot of other brothers and sisters through that stick to positivity no matter what and being positive don't mean you saw don't mean you take shit it's just that it's a choice that we make and something that great divine gives many of us that positive spirit but you know it depends on that individual, brother or sister, what side you take. Now, if you don't care about karma and you don't care about your life and you don't care about your future and you're setting no goals and you're not trying to manifest that gift that a lot of us have, especially melanated, we all have divine gifts within. But if you're not looking to do better, greater, looking to reach and teach those that we are connected to because we are not on this planet for nothing. We are here. We all are here for a purpose. But it's up to us to tap into what that purpose is. Because that great divine gives us all free will. 
and gives us all divine abilities. Look it up, you know. We all have divine abilities, especially if you're melanated. And just all you got to do is do a little studying, check your history. You know, just think of the wonderful things that a lot of us melanated brothers and sisters have done and are doing. And when you're truly, truly connected to that higher force, I mean really connected, not just saying it, talking about it. I'm talking about living it. Then you will feel. And then when you start getting it in your spirit and you start feeling those real connections, when we start feeling that real connection to that higher power, then it will move up to our eyes. We will start seeing it in our own lives. We'll see it in others' lives because if you're connected to that divine, you're not selfish. You have a giving spirit. So when you have a giving spirit, you will see that power from that great divine in others because you're looking for great things in others. Also, it's a very, very beautiful connection. And that's the only way to have that connection is to have somewhat of a giving spirit. We don't have to worry about people, places, or things things running over us remember we're connected to that great divine we're protected we don't have to worry about things like that just move through life keep doing right keep being accountable you know do 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 the right things you know with those that you are connected to teach it to them because remember our circle is important because we are beings we have to communicate at some time or another whether we take solitude or not we you, we're not on this earth not to communicate certain things that we have to do in life or maybe need in life we have to communicate whether it's brother or sister it just goes back to that good old mindset and so many wonderful things can come out of just man going through all the you know the tests and in the not giving in to toxic things and evil things and not hating oneself and just stand with that right, it will pay off, brothers and sisters. It will pay off. And you will look back on the times that that divine has touched you or touched us in many areas. And we will be so glad that we kept going and we didn't stop. And we got blessing or blessing after blessing or blessing. And the more you get it, and, you know, we always got to share it to others because we want to keep that realm strong, you know. That's why some of those that, you know, it's unfortunate, those that have self-hate, they don't know what they're missing out on. Those that's giving in to indulgences of the world, things that they know subconsciously are, is not right. And a lot of, you know, especially if you're pretty mature, and pretty healthy, mind, body, and soul, and you're indulging in evil, toxic things that a lot of individuals that are indulging in this, it might be some that's unaware, but there are those that are aware too. And just like that lifestyle, like the, you know, the, the nasty shit and shit that can fuck up your psyche. And some people like that shit. Some people think it's cool to be toxic, which is fucked up to me. Now, those that think like that are definitely not connected to that higher force and people can say it's corny people can say it's this people can say it's that all we have to do brothers and sisters and let is let our lives speak for itself never have to prove to anyone that you are connected our connection will show it will it will glow right on through because you know because when, like I say, when you become serious with oneself, and I don't mean not have, like I say, I always got to reiterate, I don't mean not have fun, enjoy our lives, but we become way more aware than we had ever have been when we are connected to that great, great divine. So, again, we'll never have to worry about anything taking us away, anything stopping us, because we already have the power of deflection built in. Because when that divine has truly connected to us, and it, it, it takes a while, sometimes it can take almost a lifetime, it can take months. It just depends on that individual how their awareness is, how, how open 
our pineal gland is. You know, look that up too. I, I say that from time to time. Study that pineal gland and you'll truly find a way to connect to that divine. And I don't care about religion. I don't care what you believe in or this, that, and the third. Even those that are atheists and don't believe in God, what they real don't realize it, it doesn't matter what you believe in or not. It's all up to that great divine. Remember, folks, that higher force, higher power, that great divine has to say overall. So, you know, it, it's that that great divine laughs at those that try to come up with assumptions and they don't believe in this, this, that, and the third. That great divine just looks down. Do you know, I've said this before too, do you know we are like ants to that higher force? We look like little ants just scurrying about. That's why it's funny to that higher force, to those who sets in plans and think they're running something. Folks, I'm here to tell us, and me, myself included, I'm here to tell you folks, we ain't running shit. We ain't running a damn thing but our mouths. And I'm talking about me too. So, and I'm just saying that to say that we need to, you know, not saying that we are not. I'm talking about those that don't have to respect that higher force. And if you don't respect that higher force and you're going against it, well, you know the opposite of righteous, right? So I don't have to say nothing because I told that definition. We all know what righteous is, even though even those that's drowning in their toxicity in their evil ways, they know what it is, too. But have fun when that karma comes back on your ass okay so that's why we have to stick to what's right in this life and it's just that simple it's not even that spiritual just stay as right as we can possibly be especially my young brothers and sisters if you are not connected spiritually to that higher force you're gonna have some problems in your life and you can say whatever you want but remember the great divine has to say overall nothing when you are truly truly connected your whole fiber our whole fiber of our body there's nothing in this life that can stop what that great divine has for all of us that mean well and that are melanated and are righteous to the pit of our soul nothing can stop that no care what no one says you know it, 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 that's why I say it's all we have to do is just keep teaching, keep reaching, keep loving, keep giving. Don't let little little entities that try to discourage us, you know, just sidestep them. Keep on going. Always focus on, you know, do different things like, you know, listen to music that's soothing, relaxing. Anything that's divinely connected, you know, listen to some positive music. You know, if you watch TV or something, make it a positive movie. You know, you always got to kind of keep that energy, you know, because we're surrounded by so much negative energy. And, you know, but I'm sure if you have been connected to that great divine, a lot of us, I'm sure that we have experienced it in our lives, throughout our lives. And a lot of us have, again, I'll say, a lot of us have seen wonderful, wow moments that some we sometimes can't explain. When you have those moments, brothers and sisters, that's that great divine talking to us. When you have those moments that is so overwhelming and so real and un seem unreal that you have to, like, process it. When you have moments like that, that's that great divine. And... The more connected we are, the more moments we will see like that. But we have to want to share that with our circle, you know, because I always say to myself when I get these thoughts or get these downloads. And remember, the best downloads always come in the morning. So good morning, wherever you are, if it's in the morning time, depending on what what time zone you're in. But yeah, a great divine will do wonderful things that will come on your life when, when your pineal gland is opened up and receiving and like i was finna say a few minutes ago it's a lot of us that experience this these you know these just just things we can't explain sometimes and that's what you know make us know that there is a great divine you know a higher force 
and it's not a he or she. It's a supreme being, remember? Something that none of us can see. So back to what I said, I want all of us, especially those that are righteous, and even those that may be struggling, I want you to feel this too. I would like, I always say I want everyone to experience that great power from that great divine. I don't just want it for myself. I want all of us to feel this. It's a wonderful feeling, you know, and it doesn't mean that those that might experience this, it don't mean that we're better or we're just different, you know, with when you take the time to really connect and don't think things are weird, you know, you will tap into different things that you never thought you could before. But we have to mind have to be open. We can't take things personal. You know, we have to get away from them human things as much as we can, because, again, it doesn't take take much to find out what it's like to live in your impulses, especially if they're toxic. All you gotta do is just take a take a look around. Social media, Hollywood, politics. Look at those who think they're on top, but really not, you know. See, when you're connected to that divine, you can see things like that. You know, you're not trapped in this this vicious cycle that this world can have you in. Step on the outside of it, my brothers and sisters. That's what that divine is. The divine is on the out the great divine is on the outside laughing at those that really think they're running something like i said that great divine can shut all this shit down that higher force can shut all this shit down clean slate and start all over if it wants to so that's why one should appreciate the higher power appreciate our lives you know don't take it for granted we all have our ex expiration date so those that are being evil toxic and looking for attention and just have no type of spirituality about yourself woo you're gonna be in for a rude awakening because karma is a mother hub so for those that are righteous and teaching righteousness and knowledge and giving that love and that power salute for those that's been on this walk for a long long time that great divine has always had you having it and it always will and like i said nothing in this whole big wide world person place or thing can stop what the great divine has for all of us especially those that are melanated righteous and have been putting in that that spiritual work for decades so that's my thought that's my real thought that's my positive thought that's my spiritual thought and to all the regions and teachers salute brothers and sisters that came in to another ebx discussion much thanks much love may you and yours prosper and i honor my family i honor your family i honor my children their mothers brothers and sisters all over the world may you have the ultimate peace in your part of the world wherever you are right now one